All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So finally, I'm giving you about a week with the Moto E5 Plus, and I really enjoy it, man. I took this phone uh, on a trip with me, and the battery life is what I expected it to be, long. I didn't have to charge this phone every day, and I wasn't surprised. I mean, it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside, so that's one of the key selling points for this phone. They're claiming a day, day and a half, and you can actually get a day and a half. I've consistently gotten a day and a half out of this phone uh, with about five to five and a half hours of screen on time. Uh, and you know, the standby time is fantastic, no problems with it at all. Uh, it's just been a great experience taking it on a trip with me, not having to charge every day. So it does have turbo charging, which is really, really nice. It charges actually really, really fast to my surprise. Uh, within two hours, you should have a full charge, which is good for a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now the T-Mobile version has the Snapdragon 4, 450, I believe inside, or 435, one of those. Uh, and it performed well. Now at one point in my trip, I, um, I don't normally reboot my phones every day, but I try to reboot them at least once a week. And all of a sudden, uh, I was in the hotel and I, it just got really, it just felt so slow. So after a reboot, freed up some resources and I was back on my game. This does run stock Android and it has a 720p display coming in at six inches. The 12 megapixel camera on the rear takes fantastic photos. I like to take photos while I'm in a car that's going 75, 80 miles an hour, just to see if it can actually grab it. So right now uh, you're looking at photos of this, um, taken from this phone on the rear, uh, this taken at probably easily 75 or 80 miles an hour uh, and they come out so nice in my opinion i posted them on twitter and instagram uh, as rolling shots with the moto e5 plus and it's actually really really good the cameras on this are really impressive and i can't wait to compare them uh, next to one of my other phones that I'll be you'll be seeing a video on soon uh, the uh, Mi A2 which claims to have fantastic cameras and so we're gonna put it to the uh, test and put it up against and do some photos and video with that but this phone has a great set of cameras on it now one downside to that is sometimes when I would launch it would take a long time to launch the cameras you can see there that's probably a couple seconds I guess well, it was about one second that time, but sometimes I was in a situation where I wanted to take a photo and it just didn't open fast enough. And I was like, gosh, man, I missed that photo. Or if I used the camera icon, it was really much slower than most camera icon um, uh, when you press the camera on something. So let me see if I can demo it for you here. Just a quick press of the button, see which one opens faster. It looks like in that situation, now now I want to demo it for you, it's, it's going to open faster there. But it looks like it opened faster on the um, Mi A2. It, it consistently just, it's not a fast camera to launch uh, for some reason. Uh, it just doesn't launch the camera really, really fast. Uh, and that was a little frustrating at times. As you can see there, there's a little bit of lag opening the camera. Uh, however, once you get it open, the photos are really, really good. No complaints about that. I'm super happy that uh, the cameras on this are extremely impressive. Now, I've already talked about battery life and letting you guys know, because I know a lot of you guys think that's important, which it is. If your phone can't stay charged, uh, it really won't do any good. You have to keep sitting on the charger. But there's no way a person should get less than a full day on here. So let's check the battery real quick and then we'll move on. So I'm at about four hours and 17 minutes of screen on time with a day and nine hours of usage with 22% left and it said approximately nine hours left. You will consistently get that folks. There's, there's just, I just haven't been able to do it. And if you don't use your phone as heavy as I do, you'll get more than a day and a half. I mean, because I was taking photos, videos, doing a bunch of things. So, you know, that's, that's a good look for Motorola. Their claims live up to be true. Now, uh, connectivity. Now, normally when I travel with T-Mobile, um, I lose service in some parts when I'm driving. Well, I'm happy to report this phone actually kept service the entire way. I looked down and it dropped out one time, but it came right back. Uh, and it stayed on 4G LTE the entire trip. And I drove about 2,000 miles, and I was happy to say that I always had service really good now, i didn't use it for any kind of gps or anything because i have gps in my car but the next trip i take i'm gonna go ahead and try it uh with gps i'm gonna see how how long if it's really keeping service because if you don't know if you use your phone through carplay or something like that with gps if you lose service the last place that the map is updated that's where it's gonna stop 
So I'm gonna test it that way, but I got a report that the service that I'm getting on this phone has been the best of all the T-Mobile phones and all the phones that I have. Cell phone service with this phone has been spot on. I really like it and I've been enjoying it. Now, I did take it out of the case a little bit while I was on the trip. You know, I don't wanna bang it up or anything like that. This phone cost me $225 outright. Uh, it is a great, great addition. It does have a 720p display. Some people might complain about that, but I'm starting to, to learn that, you know, I, I, I want Quad HD displays, I want 1080p displays, but I do say that this should have been a 1080p display, or it could have been, but I know why they didn't, because you know, there are other phones now coming out, they have a 1080p display, which I don't know why they would still just not do it. Uh, but if this would have been a 1080p display, it wouldn't have made a difference in how I feel about the phone. It just would have been nice to say that it had a 1080p display, because it's kind of like the complete package. I mean, some people will talk down on this phone because it has a 720p display uh, with a 400 series processor, but it's very efficient and the screen is beautiful as you can see here. I don't have a problem with the way this phone looks. It looks when I'm watching videos. I watched a lot of um, YouTube videos and stuff when I got a chance and Netflix and watching it in 720p. Well, Netflix, um, you can watch it in HDR if your phone is compatible and I do have phones that are compatible, but I didn't take any of those phones. I just took a couple of phones on a trip and none of them had a quiet issue display. So, I used this phone because the battery was so good and it was just so hard to kill this battery over time. Uh, but you know, I gotta admit, it's, it stayed snappy except for that one instance. And then um, opening the camera, I think it's a little slow. But you know what? This phone makes me accept the fact that I don't need a quad HD display and I don't even need a 1080p display because when you're watching things in 1080p at 60 FPS or 720 at 60 FPS or 30 frames per second, even 480 is still going to be clear on a small screen so this is easily uh, a phone that i'm using as a daily driver and one of the main reasons is that connectivity the service is so good with this phone because it has all the lt bands that i need and want so this man j will moto e5 plus has been fantastic for since in the first week and i'm happy to report that i think this is definitely uh, uh extremely at the um, really at the top of the line for being a budget king not the best but one of them six inch display 18 by 9 ratio beautiful body the t-mobile version has the best color in my opinion well if i can get my hands on that gray one i think it has a gray a, there's a gray version out too yeah flash gray if i can get my hands on that color then i'd be able to compare the colors but as of right now I like this color much better than black and fine gold. Uh, the uh, mineral blue, I think I said emerald blue one time. The mineral blue is the best color to me until I get my hands on the flash gray. So Shaman J. Will, if you don't have a Moto E5 Plus, you are missing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.